Good day everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Uluwatun and today I will be showing us how to do a search form that you can search for records as you are typing. Something like this. Um, this form. So as you can see there is a search bar here. So as soon as I search, it brings the record there. So this is what we will try to achieve today, briefly, right, I will be starting this afresh from the beginning, so I will use, I will just try and create a new table for this, go to create table design, uh, let me say, um, okay, let's say, employee ID, auto number, name address and phone number let's leave it to that just this I'll believe this to let's say primary key all right so I'll save this as employee table all right so I'll quickly populate this table. We'll go to this look quickly populate this table. Name, let's say um Kamala first streets phone number zero nine zero one two three five six seven eight. Okay, let's say Alright, let's see. Um, with three, these three records, I will use this as the sample. So, what I'll do now is what you want to do is you want to create a query from this table so i'll just close this table and i'll go to create and go to query design selecting this table employee table double click and close this one so in this query i want office to appear so i'll be making use of this star just drag and drop this star here so if you run it now you'll be able to see exactly what you have on the table there so just go back to the design view all right i'll save this as um employee query good just close it what i want to do now is to create a, a form design with form design and create a search bar in this design or create a text box here yeah, let me set this a search bar you can delete the caption all right me let me all right so um let me put a search button oh uh, it's not see if this is necessary but let me just put it for the design all right search let me rename this one to txt search Control C, Control V. In this, I'll name it TXT. Dummy. There's this one. Um, put it somewhere here. Oh, I can even put it anywhere. Or it won't be visible. All right. Okay. So what I want to do first is let me save this. I'll call it um employee form. Okay. Let me 
closes so you want to create a form from this empl employee query so i'll just go to create let's say form wizard employee query right i'll just move everything to this side and click next Voluma. next uh, um five form design let me just modify this form a little bit all right um i like all these ones i'll go to size to shortest and to narrowest so uh, align uh, let me just say this and click over the class or just increase this a little bit i'll delete this because i wouldn't be needing this header and footer so i'll right click i'll remove the header and footer good so the form can simply in this manner i'll resize this good so what i want to do now is save this form okay and i'll just close it all right so i'll open my employee form let me open it in design view yes i can now simply put this employee um this employee query form as a sub form in this form so you have just have to do is drag on here and it comes this i delete the uh, label just align it very well and then this this one for beauty's sake we'll come back to that later to beautify it right if you check if you click on this angle and then you check the data source of this so form you say it's coming from the employee query and if you should if you should check the query here sql view is just selecting everything from employee table so what you want to do is modify that so you want to this in such a way that everything that will be selected in this query will be dependent on what you have on this employee form so I will drag and alight all these three bring them down here because I want to use it as criteria so under this criteria let me right click here and, and zoom or oh, let me just let me use build to avoid error okay so this one will be like star and forms which form um employee form and what do we have on employee form we have txt dummy search let's use this dummy search tst dummy and star that's all so let's let's copy this one right just call ctrl c click ok and then i will be pasting in all of the criteria for the for all for each of the fields all right good so i can simply save now so if i run this one you see it will come like this all right let's save and close this good okay so if i should open this form you see let me just make this a pop-up form for a more beautiful days come to this order and select pop up yes all right okay we have something like this so what you want to achieve is as soon as you type here you want uh, the records that will be showing that will be dependent on what you have here so what you do is let's go back to the design if you can if you notice from the from this from this on in the data source go back to the data source 
to check now sql view he said select employee from this we look at this condition the condition is dependent on this value you have in this cst dummy on every table so you have to program this in such a way that this as soon as you type it, it can update this what you do now is click on this one go to event and on change on change click event procedure and click this three dots it's take it to this um VBA. so what you now is just on, on change whenever you type anything there so you have to put me dot uh, txt dummy dot value equals to me dot st search dot text good well, let's save this and try this out so as soon as you type here everything you type comes here you back here same thing you type again same thing all right okay so after that so you want to what you want to do is you want to require this sub form as soon as you type anything here you want the sub form to require it the mid dots what's the name of the sub form um, employee query dot require good so as soon as you type this say um allow allow this for me you see let's say oh you see it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so as soon as you type here it requires this one and such this is for you so i uh, there is no really no need for this button but you can as well uh program it and just in case right click on this um click on this just the same on click this one should be on click event procedure dot uh, the same um this way um just to query copy that one and paste it here as simple as that ctrl s so what you want to do is you want to make this particular text box invisible so you click on it and come to this format and you say visible no so as soon as you go to the form view now you won't be able to see this so anything you type with your queries is there but for you it's invisible so let me search over here yeah. let me search uh, this yes that's it so i'll just try and make this form beautiful now i think i still have some time that yeah, it's still have like two minutes so i'll be making this form beautiful okay um so i'll use the color i like this just like for the other form i'll use this purple fill and then um this one let me change it to rounded um also color purple um white foreground increase it to 12 outline white yeah, i think this is cool so let me just align this um, remember this one can be anywhere because it is invisible in the first place so I'll just increase the size of this one um let me just add this for design sake um oh space f e g space space and let me add this here good so i'll just increase the size of this one to let me use this font and increase the size to like 16 good so i'll outline this one outline this one to white and what the white okay so let me just align all of them together and arrange um size um to tallest 
align button good i think it looks better now let me centralize the text for this one good so let's save this and um, i want to remove this record navigation and record selector for this record selector no navigation no the same thing for this sub form record selector no no all right so as soon as you view this now you see the change all right the form looks better now so Right, thank you very much this is how to do a search form in don't mind how the form looks well, this is how to achieve a search form in microsoft assets thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment if you want any feature to be added and please go with your friend i need more subscribers please thank you very much